Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I have uh, a different video here for you guys. Uh, I want to show you which uh, softwares uh, I use for information and why I prefer that one. Alright, so I'm going to start to show you, uh, well the ones that I use is uh, Identifix because it's for me the most complete information you can find to make yourself faster in repairs and wire diagrams and locations of, uh, you know, modules and parts on the car where like me you work in different brands and models and it's pretty much impossible for you to know exactly where is everything uh, so identifix for me is is the best way to go let me show you why i prefer that okay here i'm working on my uh barrel's edge i'm just using it as a windows machine to go on to the identifix uh website i have selected uh let me show you guys what i got selected i think it's a 2009 yetta yeah so it is a 2009 volkswagen yetta this is the car that i'm going to start to show you why i prefer this one so just randomly i'm going to click on this onto this climate control so this is the oem part of the wire diagrams in identifix so for those that are not familiar you know the volkswagens bmws and mercedes Audis, they've got you know a different way to present the wire diagrams identifix and i think also um mitchell has uh kind of like translate that to english let's say for the ones that are rather have a a wire diagram that is in color but it's also missing a lot of information and i want to show you what i'm talking about so let's just take this as as an example if you see right here it says like j329 on the wire diagrams in here also shows me what the j 329 is which is you know the power supply relay terminal 15 as you can see that has a like a little camera icon if I click on there that is going to take me to pretty much the component locations and information that I need from so like this is one two three four you're gonna have also well in this case this is just three and four because it's it's a uh, focus on uh, where that relay is located so if I click onto this uh, link, it's going to open another one that is going to tell me, you know, the location of each relay and what is exactly each relay in there. So, this is pretty much what I prefer on Volkswagen. This one, this is exactly as original. So, this will guide you very, very close to where the locations of supplies or uh, relays are located again going back to the wire diagram uh, let me pick something else you will see also on the right side what it has like an, a legend which ones are that you can check like the G65 it has also you know another diagram open or a schematic for you to find out where it's located so this is very very important see the high pressure high pressure sensor g65 it's number four so right here so that's exactly i mean this is very very important for us mechanics that work in different brands because this will definitely guide you to the specific location of the of the component that you're trying to test and it will give you also of course the wire diagram so what I was talking, you know, what I was talking about, you know, like a, a color wire diagram, this is, again, I went on to the OEM wire diagram. If you go to the color wire diagram, this is how it will look. Like this is the air conditioning, you go to like the automatic air conditioning and it will give you, you know, a color wire diagram, which is very close to everything that you see before on the OEM. It's easier to read, but it's just a wire diagram. So it doesn't tell you where the location of the sensors or components that you're trying to look for is. So that's what I prefer the OEM one. And I have also seen a lot of mistakes on the translations that, you know, are here. So that's what I prefer. Let me also show you, you know, another brand of vehicle. So let's go back to new vehicle. So I just select a new vehicle. Let me go back to ones that I have already selected before. 
Uh, let's go to like this 2007 Hyundai Tucson. I already bookmarked a few um, diagrams. To sh you know, to, well, and this one is just a one. This is the easiest. That's the chrome wiper and washer. But you will see, you know, how important is this. So, on the uh, Hyundai OEM website part for Identifix, they also, t you know, give you. Let me open this more so we can see the wire diagram better. So again, this is not any color for the wire diagram, but I mean, this is red, uh, yellow. I mean, it tells you where the wire goes and everything. But let's say you know you're looking for uh, the front wiper relay location. It says photo 30. So what you do is you click on either one of this E11. It tells you how the um, connector looks. So if you see right here on the left side, upper corner, you have the component and the harness. So if you want to see how the harness looks, this is the harness for the car. So this is the front of the vehicle, this is the fuse box in here, and this is, you know, E02, E03, and so on, right? So that's where all the connectors are. But if you want to see the component itself, which is very nice from Identifix, and I think this is pretty much the GDS, which is the OEM part for Hyundai. I mean, look at this. This colored picture, and it tells you the specific location of, like, you know, the front wiper relay, which one is, and that goes also for. Uh, if I go back, go back again till we can go back to the wire diagram. It gives you a lot of locations like let's say like this ground so this ground is uh, on the 2.7 liter will be ground G21 and then the 2.0 2 will be the ground G27 so you click on either one of those again it's gonna give you where the component is location right here so you can see you can zoom in the photo very very well so right here we got the ground lo location which is I mean perfect I mean right here we got the master brake you know the master cylinder a pump for the brake and I mean it's pretty easy to locate the, the things so the same thing will go for Hondas Toyotas uh, the only thing that I have seen a little bit of a lack of information is on the Mercedes let me go over to one Mercedes but I know as a fact that Identifix will be improving that so let me pick up with we have this 2011 Mercedes ML350 so again, if we go over to the wire diagrams, so let's pick up, let's see if it picks up the SAM. Sometimes you have to put, you know, specific, well, it actually gives me, let's open this diagram. So this will be kind of like the OEM part, which is nice because it's in color. Again, you can zoom, sorry for the video. Okay, you can zoom into the location and and see a lot of stuff which is nice because it's in color and it give you a legend you know to go like let's say the radio antenna interference filter coordinates 19 l so you will if you see right here at the bottom it says 19 and on the left side it says l so 19 l right here so that component will be located right here so it's again is the e sorry a49.6 so slide six so it's right here but we're missing a lot on the Mercedes because if you see right here this should have a link like let's say you know like the Hyundai and so that or the Volkswagen they take you over to a specifics for this component and it doesn't it's still not it doesn't on, on identifix so that's the only thing that you will need OEM uh, software in order to still work on Mercedes since the same thing is in BMW let me show you what I'm talking about I'm gonna take you guys over to my Mercedes laptop I have it open already so this is uh, Wiz Azra which is the original information for Mercedes Benz I already select you know I went through the process of selecting you know the information and everything but my main concern uh, what I wanted to show is uh, see right here where it says like that little hint it says P0 PE0019 blah 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 that is a link so again going back to Identifix 
we had that same thing in there of course, of course it's not the same number because it's probably a different car but I wanted to show us what is that on the OEM will look like so if I click in there I got the mouse selected in there so right here so if I click in there that opens up a new wire diagram you can also which is very nice you can just click in here and it takes you sorry if you click on the right side which has a legend it will take you over to the specifics of that wire diagram so if you're following something that it has more to see you will click on this like if you are looking for the N2 let me zoom a little bit uh, right here let me zoom so you can see that a little bit bigger I'm gonna pick just one so like this N224 if you want to know what that is you click in here actually no it's not doing it well the N224 is the rear AC control control module see right here uh, right here I'm going to select it so N22-4 or slash 4 is the rear AC control module and that one is still has something else to show me so if I click again in there it's going to be because as you can see right here on the wire it's just a cut so it's still just a partial view of what that component will do sorry this one so again if you click in there that will open the controller just now you can see that on the, on the upper part this is the controller now N22-4 so this is the AC rear control unit and all the comp uh, connections that you need or that you have onto, onto that controller. So that's why you still need on the OEM uh, software in order to find and work on the Mercedes. But for the rest, Identifix is just the best. I mean, we all know that repair-wise it give you like truly repairs with like I mean already a description from people that has work on it and repair the same uh, failure on the car so that's pro what we already know about identifix but this is the part that I like the most because for me when I'm working on a car I need to know where the component is located how the wire diagram is and if I have a picture of location even better so again, uh, if you're working on mechanic like me, different brands and everything, don't hesitate. For me, the best choice is Identifix all day long. One other thing that I wanted to show is the lack of, uh, I just got this Maxxis is a lid. And I mean, it's a great tool. One second, guys. It is a great tool, but it's very limited on web browser. If they don't let you download anything so let me go over to the browser uh, actually let me go over to oh it's right here so I'm gonna have to log in in here because identifix is doesn't let you work into different computers at the same time only one at a time with the same user of course so I'm gonna go into the website but the browser for uh, Android is not supported. So come on, I'll tell you have to fix this. So let's see, you know, if I want to go over to like the Volkswagen Jetta that we just picked before. That is just internet speed. So let me go to the bookmarks. Hopefully I bookmark. No, I did not. So let's go to the climate. So we go to OEM wiring. That's how I did it before, so I just click, you know, the Climatronic. And I just hit the go. So, and I pick up for the sample that we were watching before. I thought it was, okay, let me see, this one from July 2006. So, if you see here, Actually, this is working a little bit better. Let me see if it's going. 
Yeah, well, this one is working uh, on the OEM. I've had a problem before on the Toyota. Let me, go if, let me see if I go over to the color one. Because sometimes it, it can open the PDF, and that's uh, how Identifix has this set up on the system that all those wire diagrams and everything is kind of like a like a, a PDF. Maybe this is going to work because it's just a regular, yeah, this is a different picture. But I had a problem before, you know, with like the Toyotas and Honda. I couldn't, I couldn't get the information because it says that the browser doesn't support to like open PDF. So if, if the information in Identifix is based as a PDF uh, file that will open up into your regular browser on any Windows machine, it will not be possible to open it up in Android or in an iPad or so. I was able to uh, work with the Mac uh, just using Safari with an old plugin because it was the only way for me to keep using all this which is very important for me so again i hope you guys like the video and uh this is just more about information and why i choose uh, identifix over all data mitchell uh i mean chop key or whatever you know, information you're using from the snap on but they just give you wire diagram it's very confusing to go to you know a component location if you can you know use a, a software that gives you everything in one way i know for sure yeah well it's going to change a little bit from honda toyota to mercedes but at least you are in the same website that is key and i think identifix has been doing a very 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 good job okay guys so again hope you like the video and uh if you like it thumbs up if you don't like it tell me why you didn't like it so i can you know make improvements and have a great day